Saint Nicholas. A long time ago, about 300 years after Jesus died, there was a man named Nicholas who lived in the Roman Empire. Nicholas was a good man who loved God very much. One day he heard of a family who needed money to save their three daughters. So he secretly left them a sack of money and the daughters were saved. People found out about the kindness of Nicholas and began to tell the stories of the good things he did for others. When he was older, he became a bishop and tried his best to do good whenever he could. He helped a lot of people. He gave money to the poor, he stood up for anyone being bullied, and he prayed for people. When Nicholas was very old, he died. Now every year on the 6th of December, we remember his story and what a great guy he was. We call him Saint Nicholas because he lived a life of obeying and loving Jesus. for tuning in for a little book about St. Nicholas. I will link the PDF down below. It's yours to print out if you want a copy of it. Go ahead and it's totally free. You can print it for your kids. A little background on why I did this little booklet for my kids is that I grew up in a with a high German background on my dad's side. And so I grew up with um, St. Nicholas Day on December 6th. And so this is a tradition where you usually celebrate St. Nicholas on December 6th. It's not a Christmas thing. You usually put your boots outside the door and you wake up and there's candy and stuff in them. My Oma's house always had that. Um, so it's not something that's super strange or anti-religious uh, to me and my background. Um, something that my husband and I have decided with our own kids, we both come from doctrinally conservative background families, um, but we have decided to go ahead and teach our kids about St. Nicholas and not Santa necessarily, but the real St. Nicholas. So when there is Santa things in Christmas, pictures and candies and fun stuff, our kids know the background. They know that there was a real guy named St. Nicholas. And so that is why I made this book is because we don't throw all of Santa in the garbage and he's not necessarily like excommunicated from our home. Um, I just really want to teach truth to my kids. So this is sort of a middle of the road way to, to bring that fun of Christmas into our home. Of course, we do try to keep make, make sure that Jesus is the, the pinnacle, the highlight of Christmas. Um, but anyway, this is our tradition on December 6th is to read this little story and to get some boots full of chocolate. So I hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye.